Yo, check this out, y'all. So, I'm coming out of 1 Peter 3, verse 14, right? And I'm just going to go ahead and jump into that, right? It says, But and if ye suffer for righteousness' sake, happy are ye, and be not afraid of their terror, neither be troubled. Right? And so, basically, just get you, you know, just talking about suffering for righteousness' sake, and suffering for the Lord, you know what I'm saying? Suffering for doing right, doing the right things, doing what's right in the Lord's eyes. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, there's something the Lord was showing me about that is, it's either you're going to suffer for righteousness sake, or you're going to suffer for foolishness, bro. Like, essentially, like, because either, either walking in righteousness or walking in wickedness, you have to suffer both ways. You know, and, and, and you probably don't think about it that way, but think about it like this, right? You suffer for righteousness sake, and like, let's say, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you saying no, you say no to that, you know what I'm saying? That temptation that you really wanna do in the flesh, bro, whatever that might be, bro. You know what I'm saying? And and it's hard. And at, in that moment, you, you can say you're suffering because you really wanna, like, God, ah, I wanna do that. But you know, you know, if you if you do that, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna put your relationship with, with God in jeopardy. And it's gonna, you're gonna feel all messed up. And that's the suffering. And that's the suffering I'm talking about Is that suffering of saying Yes to God and no to your flesh Versus when you say yes to flesh and no to God When you and, but Here's the thing When you say yes to flesh and say no to God In a moment You're going to be feeling good Like hey, bro, hey he, he, he cool it is afterwards, it's the aftermath of, of the consequences of your actions That you begin to evaluate And you be like oh shoot now, now I gotta suffer the consequences of my actions that I made out of my flesh, that I made from a split decision, that I made from a, a place of, you know what I'm saying? Oh, let me just do this real quick because uh, I just I just feel like I can't. Ah, uh, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and in the moment you might not suffer, but eventually you will suffer the repercussions of your actions. Which is why God said to suffer for righteousness sake, because that's gonna actually elevate you, that's actually gonna grow you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like it's the same thing with uh rebuke and correction. You know what I'm saying? It's better that someone rebukes you out of love. It's someone that better it's better that someone corrects you out of love and you be pricked in your heart and you be offended at first and then eventually like, you know what, bro, yeah, 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 you right, and you apply it. Then someone come in and they be like, Oh, you know what I'm saying, you good, bro. You know, we it all it happens to everybody, man. We all just we all just be doing it. You know what I'm saying? Like, because if that type of person giving you that advice, bro, you're going to be in the same place. Look, years from now, years from now, you're going to be in the same place. You might be a little older. You might got to, you know what I'm saying? You got a little bit taller or something. You might you might have grown up, like, physically, but in mentally, spiritually, you ain't grown at all, cuz. Like, <laughs> you ain't grown at all because you adhere to that advice that I'm in a good place. I, I'm, I'm just cool the way I am. No. I feel like the first thing in, 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 of um, acknowledging that you're not in the right place is like, look, I, I'm not, I'm not good where I'm at right now. I'm not good where I'm at spiritually. I'm not good where I'm at mentally, and I need to become better only by the Spirit of God. And that's something. That's an investment that you must make. That's an investment that you must make in your own soul, bro. You know what I'm saying? Coming to God is an investment that you make in your own soul and salvation, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because God, obviously, he already paid the price. And so now all he's waiting is for you to say yes. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like you losing anything. One thing I can say you are losing is, is um, hallelujah, chains <laughs> and bondage. That's one thing you are losing, bro. You know what I'm saying? And so when, you, when it comes to this walk with Christ, bro, Yes, suffering is gonna happen, bro. You're gonna there's times you guys gonna tell you to do something, you're not gonna feel like doing it. There's times you're gonna be placed on an assignment, you're not gonna feel like walking it out. You know what I'm saying? And and that's that that's that that's that suffering that we must endure for the glory of God to be produced in us. But I'm telling you right now, it's better that you suffer for righteousness than you suffer for, for wickedness. It's better that you suffer for righteousness than you suffer for foolishness because in righteousness you, you're, you're gonna at least get closer to god you're gonna at least grow you're gonna at least learn you might mess up you might make mistakes it might not be perfect in your eyes but that's the, to god is all he wants is your heart but if you suffer from foolishness and wickedness then you're gonna reap the fruit of, you're gonna reap the fruit of your labor bro and then in the moment you're gonna be like oh it all it's all good and then later on you're gonna be like dang why did i do that 
why did I do that? You know what I'm saying? And now you go, now you have to suffer, now you have to suffer the uh, lost time, the regret. You know what I'm saying? Wishing you change, wishing you did the right thing. Wishing you could get that time back that you wasted doing wickedness and foolishness. You saw, you see where I'm coming from? And so, ultimately, this is my message today, bro. That's what I feel like the Lord wants me to speak on. Is it's better to suffer for righteousness' sake, bro. You know what I'm saying? It might not seem appealing at first, but it always gonna, it's always gonna reap a harvest. It's always gonna reap a harvest of good fruit and not bad fruit. Fruits of righteousness. You know what I'm saying? The fruit of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, I just wanna share that with y'all and I pray this bless y'all. You know what I'm saying? That y'all be blessed. In Jesus' name. Ah!